This is a pre-recorded news segment from April 2020. And I'm just going to take a wild shot in the dark and say, Ronald McDonald is a crackhead who uses his business to further fuel his crackhead addiction. Holy shit, I called that! For more information, let's get to the reporter in the field. Hello, good evening. I'm standing outside of America's favorite burger joint, McDonald's, where it seems that customers are starting to have concerns among the ethics of this company. While the company has been under fire before for low wages for their workers, environmental issues, and putting weird pink shit in their McNuggets, well, this could be the worst we've ever seen. It seems that the company's CEO, Ronald McDonald himself, has embezzled company money to support his fueling cocaine habit. Let's get some opinions from customers. Excuse me, ma'am, would you like to be interviewed for the, the news? Oh, yeah, of course. All right. Um, so first question, how do you feel about the ethics of places where you choose to eat? Ethic? Yeah, their I'm, ethics. I'm always concerned about ethic in general, so what about it? Absolutely. Well, are you aware that there are rumors going around that Ronald McDonald stole company money? And apparently he did this to fuel his cocaine habit? Yes. Let me, let me ask you, how do you explain this picture? You know what? I'm, 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 I'm just... Yeah, and what about Gremis's involvement in supplying Ronald McDonald with the drugs? What do you have to say about that? I'm not a police, so I don't know. I gotta go. I did lost. Well, it seems not everyone is so concerned about McDonald's ethics, but I surely am. I just want to say I think cocaine and drugs are bad, but hey, I mean, that's just me. Thanks, reporter on the field. By air, land, and sea. Russia has launched a devastating attack on Ukraine. Its forces are bombing city centers and closing in on the capital, Kyiv, prompting a mass exodus of refugees. For months, President Vladimir Putin denied he would invade his neighbor, but then he tore up a peace deal and unleashed what Germany calls Putin's war, pouring forces into Ukraine's north, east, and south. As the number of dead climbs, Russia's leader stands accused of shattering peace in Europe. What happens next could jeopardize the entire continent's, the continent's entire security structure. NATO's defense alliance has made clear that there are no plans to send combat troops to Ukraine itself. But will the member countries provide any type of help? Our other reporter in the field is outside the president's office right now at the Washington DC White House, asking Mr. President about this issue. Let's see what they got. I'm here outside waiting for the president to come give us an answer. Oh, here he is. Mr. President, what is your plan to help Ukraine in their current situation? That's right. I have one serious question for Putin, Jinping, Zelensky, and any other world leader. Do I look handsome? Thanks, other reporter in the field. Up next, weather whip. Can't fucking do this. Uh, let's just cut to our reporter in the field. Hey, what are we doing in the field? I got no more storage cover. You're doing weather now. I don't even know a thing about weather. Don't we already have meteorologists for this? Yeah, they kind of quit on us live just now. And since you're out in the field, you know more about the current weather than I do. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Well, how's it looking out there? It's very green. Ooh, is there a lot of grass? No, I'm behind a green screen. Okay, how's the temperature feel out there? I mean, fine. And how would you predict the weather looking tonight? I mean, I'm not the one who called Ronald McDonald a crackhead happening. Yeah, well, I'm not doing the weather. Um, I don't know, fine? And how would you predict the next seven days looking? 
I don't know. I'm not a meteorologist. Thanks, other reporter in the field. In a developing story, aliens from, also known as Planet B.O.B., have recently visited Earth and have been diplomatically talking to the UN. Most of the UN have been pleasantly surprised by the diplomacy of the aliens, other than North Korea. After the diplomatic talk, Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un has been threatening the aliens with nuclear war and also blaming America for the talks. Our expert on the history of aliens, Dr. Walter Whopper, is on the line to talk about the diplomatic talks. Dr. Whooper, are you there? I'll have you know it's Dr. Whopper, madame. Sorry about that. So, Dr. Whopper, tell us your thoughts on these diplomatic talks. Well, first off, I would like to say to everyone in this dang world, I was right. Okay, aliens are real. On top of that, I would also like to say that this is just a ploy from the alien race to before they invade all of us. They're just being friendly before everything just... Uh, Mr. Mr. Whopper? Hello? Uh, and it's do it's Doctor! All right, and that was Dr. Whopper, our alien expert. Up next, apparently someone stole all the copies of Madden 09 from the local Target, and we brought them here. Police, bring them in. Hey, didn't you see my therapist? Yeah, but apparently you need a PhD for it, and they added an extra U. You have FUD? I have FUD. Hey, weren't you my patient who wouldn't stop talking about stupid Nintendo games? I was traumatized, okay? Hey, didn't you own a lot of Wii U's? You know what they say, the more Wii U's personnels, the more insane they are. I have nine, and for good reason, too. Holy shit, you really are insane. You know, most people don't even know what a Wii U is. So, why did you steal all those copies of Madden 09? That game isn't even on the Wii U. I really hate Madden 09. Brett Favre can go fuck himself. Uh, you know we're on national television, right? I don't care! Man, you must really hate Madden 09. So, why'd you steal all those copies? I know someone who worked there. Target employee. Great person. Then his brother worked at the local Wendy's. Wendy's employee. You really get some extra intel doing that. <laughs> who... Who names their kids that? I don't know, but man, their parents must have really wanted their children working at Target or Wendy's. Alright, well, last question. Isn't Madden 09 just a update of the roster on Madden 08? That's it. That's the last fucking straw, alright? I don't fucking need this, alright? Fuck you! Fuck this! And fuck national television! Well, that person's going to jail. Well, there you have it, folks. The person who stole all the copies of Madden 09 from the local Target. Thanks for watching Channel 69 News. Your news. Nice. See you tomorrow. If there is a tomorrow.